were the first team to defeat the Seoul dynasty. What did you guys do right, which the other teams didn't manage to do? Oh, uh, we knew that uh, their DPSs were really good, so we just tried to shut them down. And yeah, I think this is the result. Well, it worked out just fine for you guys. Now, of course, I have to ask it. Defeating the Seoul dynasty, one of your old rivals, does that make you the best team in this league now? Of course. Of course! There you have it! Thank you so much! It's crushing, and this man leading the charge. One of the yeah. best in the game if you're a spectator to watch. And what a way to start things off. You even have Sinatra and <laughs> Baby Bay giving the high five. I love it. You are a pad of the Overwatch League. You're a fan as well. And he's going to have an even easier time. Like you said, Johnny, they like to play more defensive with Matt. To go in, it'll be a lot easier for the Shanghai Dragons to collapse on that dive. Already posing for the victory screen. Uh, I see Ryan this again. Trying to recreate that one, yep. <laughs> on about with the biotic grenade. Oh, that somebody has to clean that up, Mono. Come on, <laughs> man. No, they don't. They're oh. like they're like Roombas all over this room. Or oh, taking control of it as the attack team. Oh, take a photo! Oh. Look at his coordination. That's synergy. Love to see it. Oh, Look at that. Only, doesn't like, get the effect. Is this like the evolution of the Overwatch player? Starts off an anime, then goes through. Then he becomes better, he becomes a Ryan main, and then Diva main is like alpha. <laughs> They're an anime. All right, so I actually haven't decided yet, but I think I'm gonna go with a blue hair color. Is there a reason why you're choosing blue? Why why paran se ge hanen yuga inne? And I guess. Moving on to the next question. <laughs> You, Brent, picked this one. I did. Why did you pick Jonak? So I like to think of Jonak as a flower, a beautiful flower. Uh -huh. that when he's playing Zenyatta, right, think of his, his orbs of destruction, his balls, as the spores of life. And he's just procreating all over the place as one big flower, just getting kills, getting picks, slamming damage. He's being nano boosted. His team has faith in him. And he's just, he's just making the plays and giving them the business. You are not good at metaphor. <laughs> Two snipers go back and forth. Links are one of few of the battles, but it just seemed that Pine had that map presence. He had more support. Fantastic oh. showing it. They flip it, get the control percent rolling early. Jonak does go down. A res comes in from NYXL, and here comes Pine. Gets one, gets two. Looking for a bit more, gets another one. Are you kidding me? This guy is going to single handedly change the point back over He's to gonna NYXL. He's going to kill everybody. Oh! Okay, Pine, Big Boss Pine is on the scene. Wow, that started so well for Houston, too. They forced the early res onto Jonak. Pine, all... And then my pincer here is one with the Dragon Strike. Mecha doesn't hit the hook, but he finds the damage anyway. The scrap gun is there. Dragon comes screeching on through. Doesn't claim any kills. Oh, Valiant out Jonak from downtown. Kareem, there's not a damn thing he could do about it. And that was nasty. The Valkyrie was there as well. It just did not matter. They're, they are summoning the sprays. Something's happening here. Okay. And then, okay. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love that. It's my favorite emote, the dance emote for Winston. Uh, I, well, I need that clipped immediately. I did not expect it. Monkey out of nowhere. That was great. All right, let's see. Is it gonna be if anyone leaves that payload, it's over. But man, they've gotten it so far already. Janice kind of hold up. Watch the screen ground, for the Graviton down. here. All they need to do is push people back. There's the Graviton Surge. Can they finish off the members of New York? Now they don't really have a lot to combo with it. They lose Rockets, so Savior Lee comes back. And now New York looks like they're finally ready to end this attack run. Libero pulls out the Dragon Blade just to make sure, and that'll do it. Right. He can just sit around the corner from his main tank and just kind of just 
peek over just a little bit. We can get this through Jonak's perspective. That's it. Oh, that's it. Just sitting out the back doing a Macarena for some reason. All of his <laughs> opponents are dying. That? Yeah, he's, you know, throwing out the hands, bro. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, it looks like Pine's been playing a bit of the Halloween special, Matt. Pretty good at shooting those rip tires. Easy enough for a Widowmaker, of course. Pine, Pine was hoping for a very small oh. peak, and this is aggressive it's position. It's actually a pretty huge shot after the rip tires. Oh, no! He can unravel them here. He's got two. Lynx has been felled. Rockets oh. is the third. The big flake from Pine, and no one doesn't like him. There may be more to follow, but it may just not matter, because the rest of the outlaws are six feet under. Jonak just casually presses Q to respond and says, I see you were trans and I'll raise you one. And now Hydration's Blade needs to find the mark. Removing part of the start of the fight is important. One more slash. Oh no! He got knocked out of the way by Mano. One swing of the fist. He just saved his Inyata. Oh, it's the little things sometimes that make the biggest difference. And Mano subbed in for this map. Stunning play to peel for his knees. Just when you think the Valiant is about to get some traction, self destruct comes in. And now it's just clean up on the payload one more time for the New York Excelsior Doha. I mean, Peko's time on NYXL is basically adventures. Look in at Navy this delay. City. What a delay on the fate, too. This is ridiculous. <laughs> How many times do you see an Arisa stall I here? I've never seen that before. And they don't <laughs> care. I mean, they'll let fate, wow. like fate charge that supercharger. Yep. Because they've been they've been committing to this Arisa so hard in five seconds before they can really get rolling here for those juicy support pulse bombs. Only the juiciest support pulse oh, bombs. Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't even need it. Just gonna Not go to head one, clip him, no oh, problem. Can one. he get another one? He can get it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> he knew the res was coming, so he put the pulse bomb down right there. Can they capitalize on it? Luma does go down. Really tricky play by Sabilby, I love it. <laughs> he did go down to Lynxer at the end, but that was more. And in the end, Libero peeks out just a step too far. And there it is, Dreamcast for following it up, really making life difficult for Mono. The girl peeked. They also had their Diva take a lot of damage there. self will come in over the top. Support's dead for New York. No more healing available. Gonna be a miracle needed out of Mako. And Diva simply doesn't have the tools to pull it off. Now Boston, in the end, looks like they will hold another Deadeye for Dreamcast. That was a quick one. See, you be somehow touched. No, wait, See, wait, wait, somehow wait, wait, touched during that. They're still alive. This is still possible. Overtime wick is going, and now we have Libero going for the back line. Nako could go, he'd be gone, and he is beheaded. Sold for spare parts. Libero doing the work right now. Gamsu's out as well. Oh my god. They are so close to finishing it up. They will finish out Gibraltar. Beautiful play from Sebiobi. Millisecond kind of reactions. That eye was going on. He blinked past the McCree. I don't need to uh, translate the second part, but the first part, it really does feel good to get my revenge on the Boston Uprising. So thank you so much. They are of envy. That's a huge kill. You could have potentially saw that entire nuts come and take Ark out of the sky. But NYXL turning up here. 17 seconds left. Agility's trying to save his support. Unbelievable! Gets the kill on Unko. Huge play from Mecco. This guy is doing it all on his own. First, he takes down Soon on the Bastion on his own. Then, he goes and gets an NYXL. He gets sure for a week. Pine finishes him up. And then, like, it puts the supports in a, a weird spot. Oh! The point oh! that it's just... It's just absolutely filthy. As the bubble saves Binkus here as he's going oh! for it. <laughs> Save Sherwar for long. No! Pine wants to give you the Rotom. They're going to go quad tank here. Okay, this Lucio for the speed and then Moira for a ton of ult. Yeah. The Reinhardt is going to protect the rest of the team as they cross. There's no Widowmaker for the Valiant right now, so they can't really get picked off as they go. But look at Jonak already, 61% ult percentage. We're going to call lessons right around the corner. Yeah, with so many big targets, and they're just so close together, able to get so much AoE healing. He's already at 85% towards his ult, putting down a lot of damage as well. A coalescence already here for Jonak. Oh, by the way, Envy falls. Fate has fallen as well. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the play-by-play, -play, bro. Just walk my boy Jonak. Oh. Give him the big slap. Yep, Let's indeed. go, New York. The emote there at the end. And I've got to say, right, we, you often see Biotic Orb used by Moira players, mostly... You know, by it's not gonna happen this time. They are keeping a great presence on the point, however. Boston Uprising not really able to get out there and challenge. There's that halt hook combo that you were talking about. And we've already lost Kellex for Boston Uprising. That's a big deal. Halt hook, goodbye, and it's the most important target too. They took the mercy out of that fight. No chance for Kellex to earn his way up to a Valkyrie. An interesting everyone predicted would be the best team in the league.
I mean, all of these guys, obviously. Good friends, the competitors, when you're in the server, it doesn't matter, you're out to kill, right? But you get out of the server, you know, hugs, handshakes, lots of respect here between these players.